Hi, and welcome back. Uh, so this is going to be covering section six of the first practice test. It's a writing section and the big writing section. So let's get started. So again, with most writing sections, we're going to start off with a sentence improvement question, right? So if you look here, number one says, a recent report indicates that sleep deprived drivers caused more than 100,000 accidents last year, last year, comma, they fall asleep at the wheel. Now, what is the grammatical error that's being tested here? This is what we call a comma splice, right? Right? Right now, we are combining two complete sentences, two independent clauses with a comma, right? And that is inappropriate, right? A comma cannot connect two independent uh, clauses. We have a recent report indicates that sleep deprived drivers caused more than 100,000 accidents last year. That's its own sentence. And they fall asleep at the wheel. Again, that's its own sentence, right? We need to have either a conjunction or a semicolon in order to make the sentence work, right? So that's why the best answer here is actually going to be then become uh, one in which we, conf we transfer this clause, this independent clause, into a dependent clause. Why? Because if we look here, um, the, the following ones, uh, and they fall, and falling, um, these conjunctions all do not work very well in the sentence. B, if you wrote B, if you chose B, a recent report indicates that sleep deprived drivers caused more than 100,000 accidents last year, and they fall asleep at the wheel. It's a little, it's a little, I don't know, it changes the meaning of the sentence a bit. There's a better way to say this you know, and to connect the fact that it's the, them falling asleep at the wheel that causes the 100,000 accidents. It's by choosing C. By putting this into a prepositional phrase with the preposition by and making it into a gerund instead of its own active verb, we convert this into a dependent clause compared, uh, uh, coupled with an independent clause, uh, which makes it a very good complex sentence, right? A recent report indicates that sleep deprived drivers caused more than 100,000 accidents last year by falling asleep at the wheel. That's why C here is going to be the best answer. Let's move on to question number two. The depths of the Arctic Ocean are hard to study, mainly because the icy surface is being difficult to penetrate uh, using current techniques, right? This one is going to be, it's, it's strange because, you know, you should be able to hear that the sentence sounds strange just aloud. And also it's bad because we have what? A very passive verb here, is being. Is being is pretty much ultimately the most passive tense we can get for a verb, right? We always want to have active verbs on the sentence improvement. As much as we can, we want to try to convert passive verbs into active verbs, right? Because that also simplifies the sentence, which is why the best answer here is going to end up becoming C. If we look here, it changes the is being to simply just to is, right? So the depths of the Arctic Ocean are hard to study, mainly because the icy surface is difficult to penetrate using current techniques. All the other sentences either do not uh, do the active to pa passive to active verb tense change, or it changes the meaning of the sentence, or it actually changes it into a dependent clause and not a full sentence itself. Good. Let's go to question number three. Here, the sentence says, several of the forest fires that occurred last summer, which were because people are careless. Again, this is not a complete sentence, right? Or it's just a very strange uh, sentence. Again, which here is going to not be 